Hello! Whoa. My name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some of the items from the Season 12 scoreboard. Season 12, yeah, Season 12, okay. Uh, I looked in the Atomic Shop today, and honestly, there was nothing that I wanted. I really don't even care about the new shelter, but what I did want is a lot of the items from this new scoreboard. So what I did is I put my items uh, into the scoreboard as opposed to buying stuff from the Atomic Shop, and I do have some pretty cool stuff from there to show off today. So, with that being said, I guess the first First thing I can talk about is going to be this armor that I'm wearing. This is going to be the new Rip Daring Adventure whatever armor. Um, I don't really like it that much, but it kind of looks cool on the marine armor. I'm not a big fan of like the cheetah print, but other than that, I guess it'd be pretty cool. Although, I'm definitely going to prefer the ghillie armor over this. Alright, what do we have here? And obviously, guys, today, I am joined by Sebs. I'm joined by Monkey. We got Captain Shank here, hopefully somewhere. Um, but what did I end up getting? Um, so, I ranked up to level 38 I'm not, you know, not even halfway through the scoreboard, but still, there's a lot of really cool items. So, uh, I have most of them displayed here. I guess we can start over here. Uh, so yeah, Monkey is on top of the mounted Grafton Monster Hand, and that's actually a pretty cool mounted thing. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> pretty large, I'll say that, but I like the, the frame that it's on, kind of this wood frame, and it's kind of got that, like, little vault thing around it. And, uh, oh, the weapon I'm holding right now, actually, I'll be doing a video on that following this, so don't really worry about it too much. Uh, some other things that I got, though, uh, are some really cool signs. Uh, I want to start with this Flatwoods one. Pretty sweet, you know, home of the green monster. I think this will be a pretty decent one to be, you know, be hanging outside your door, stuff like that. And if you plan on making a Flatwoods camp, well, there you go. Another sign that we got is the, uh, what is it, Preblos Curio, some kind of sign like that, you know, carcasses, cryptids, some kind of taxidermy thing. Uh, I like this sign a lot because it sticks out of the wall, uh, how should I, I think horizontally? I don't know, as opposed to being up against the wall vertically. Um, but you can see it's pretty cool, got a nice design, and I'm sure that you guys will be using this a lot uh, with your camps. So, some other posters I got include these Rip Daring ones, uh, nothing too special. Uh, if this one was power to be able to light up and all that stuff, and I'm actually not too sure why this nurse is attacking him unless she's trying to give him a stim pack or something, I don't know. But this poster down here I like a lot, you know, this kind of young couple running away from the Grafton monster. But this stuff is nowhere near as cool as the stuff we're going to talk about next. Starting first is going to be the new stone fireplace. Uh, these are the other fireplaces that I have, the electric one, the uh, kind of like the regular hunting lodge fireplace, and then over here is the stone one. And an interesting feature that this comes with, if I go over here to lights, and they're doing something weird over here, I don't know. But you can actually put down the, what do you call it, the fireplace there, and then you can add an extension on top of it, should you choose to do so. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if these will, it looks like they will, you know, keep going up, so I guess you can make like an infinite uh, chimney or something there, but I thought that was a very interesting feature that came with this fireplace. Another little thing you can do is just walk up to here and uh, turn it on or off. I kind of wish that these, maybe these little doors open, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And Monkey, I know you can hear me, please refrain from using the Tinkerer's Workbench because I've been dying to use this thing. I'm going to give you to the count of three. Thank you. I didn't mean to be mean, but I, this thing is so cool. Alright, folks, this is definitely the number one thing, aside from the uh, the big prefab that I wanted from this update. Let me go into photo mode here. This is going to be the Taxidermy Tinkerer's Workbench. Uh, as far as I know, it's the first skin that we've ever had from the uh, the Tinkerer's Workbench. Or, sorry, yeah, the Tinkerer's Workbench, not Taxidermy Workbench. But let me show you guys what it looks like when you go in here. It's kind of a funny little thing. You take this little hammer and just start chiseling away at the little owl head there. So there you go. I thought it was pretty sweet. Um, I love kind of more rustic down-to-earth camps, and I think that a, a Tinker's workbench like this will fit in perfectly. Um, as far as I know, that's really the majority of the things that I unlocked from the scoreboard. I'll show you guys just how far I am right now, and uh, there's plenty of skins and, you know, little bonuses and stuff that I picked up, but just to peruse through here, uh, you know, a bunch of random, yeah, just weapons, stuff like that. I am going to be reviewing the Cold Shoulder in another video. I did say that before. Um, yeah, just power armor paints, stuff that I'm not really super interested in, but these were the things that uh, mattered to me the most. And I want to end the video by displaying the new ally, uh, Steven Scarsbury, I believe his name is. And here we go. So I'm going to throw him down right there. And it's this really cool, like, Mothman statue. Um, and I'm wondering when he'll 
kind of show up, but I'm planning on doing a video just talking to him specifically. That'll probably be out later today as well, but this is a pretty cool camp item in and of itself, this little statue, and uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool looking guy as well. I know that he comes with some bonuses as well, but again, I will have all of that in my upcoming video. So folks, I really appreciate all of you guys watching, and uh, here we go. Looks like we're going to have a little prayer ceremony here with Steven. But yeah, folks, this is just a little bit of a sneak peek into some of the items that are coming or that have come out with the Season 12 scoreboard. And again, I'll have a bunch of other videos coming out today talking about some of the new things that came with the update. That's all I got for this video. I want to say thanks to Shanks, thanks to Sebs, and thanks to Monkey for joining me. I don't know how I got through this video with them distracting me, but these guys are the best. And, uh, of course, you can always find them here on my channel. And uh, I'll leave Monkey's channel in the description below, maybe a couple other ones. But, yeah, I got to get to making more videos. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Please do not get possessed by the Red Rocket Demon. Take care. <laughs>